Okay, so I <clears throat> got my other gasket just to kind of figure out how it went. So this little part goes up to the top there. Uh, the blue went that way because there was a lot of blue stuff that I had to take off of back here. So, all right. <clears throat> so that's there. I think I got my screws over here. my nuts. We call them screws and they're nuts. <clears throat> These guys go down here. Well you heard that snap going back. Let's see if I can get this one in. There it is. There we go. And these are, let's see, this is the throttle body or 22, so I'll do 11 and then 22, and I believe they're 12 five millimeters. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's go to 11. And this you want to go across. If you start here, go across, and then here, there, or here, over here. Last time just to okay. The cool thing about these type of torque wrenches is, is you don't need to zero them out. There's some with the spring, and you have to turn. And you load the spring, <clears throat> excuse me, and then when you when you torque, it'll click, click, click. Then you know you're done. But you gotta unload the spring, put it back to zero every single time. You don't want to leave it loaded. Uh, the spring supposedly gets memory or something, and then your torque is off. And um, I don't think on these you have to worry about that. Uh, getting them calibrated. I'm not exactly sure how how often, if you're going to be working a lot <clears throat> on cars, uh, I'm assuming you should probably have them calibrated fairly often. So now I just got to get the air intake, uh, get my clamps in order, put this hose back on. Um, I got to torque this guy down over here. And I got to put my oxygen sensor and all that over here back on uh, and then um, see if it'll start that's the that'll be the the uh, moment of truth there and
Alrighty, we'll be back in a while.